Hi, welcome to Tantric Traveler. Today, I would like to offer a pick a card reading to my lovely, accomplished, persevering, compassionate subscribers. So today's pick a card reading is asking the question, what are my guides, ancestors, and angels most proud of me for right now? Because we all need a little encouragement and we all need to take a moment sometimes and fully appreciate where we are, how far we've come, and the work that we have put in to growing and becoming better to the full potential of our individual souls and the full potential of our collective consciousness, which includes that of our kind, wise ancestors, whether that be our loved ones who have passed before us, our earth family members who have passed before us, our animal, plant, and mineral family members who have passed before us and become part of our evolutionary templates, our kind, wise guides, so these can be ascended masters, writers, artists, um, spiritual practitioners whose knowledge and wisdom we have received through our own study and research, through our spiritual practices, or through being open to receiving downloads of the collective spiritual consciousness, the universal consciousness. and our angels are our angelic guides. So this could be perceived of as our star ancestry or higher vibrational aspects of our consciousness which serve to assist us in ascending and our carriers of light from the one true divine central source of unconditional love and infinite light which some people refer to as spirit or the universe or God S. So all of these sources, all of these helpers are very interested in witnessing what we as divine sovereign humans do with the assistance that we ask for and receive from them. So this came to me in a lovely way this morning. I wasn't expecting this, so I feel like all of our kind, wise ancestors, guides, and angels have something to congratulate us for or have something to support us and thank us for today. So let's see. We do have the three piles as usual, and I'm going to be drawing from all three decks, but if you would like to focus on the crystals that I've chosen to represent the three piles, so this one is sodalite with blue kyanite. That will be the first selection today. Sodalite circle with this beautiful blue kyanite sliver. The second selection will be very powerful combination, another one, of Lemurian Quartz with this Lapis Lazuli Pyramid. So Lemurian Quartz with the Lapis Lazuli Pyramid. That will be the second selection. And the third selection is this owl's eye, which I painted for my dear departed dad one Christmas. So it's snowy owl. 
with this black Tibetan quartz. So take a moment and think or don't think about which combination you're most attracted to today to receive the congratulations and messages from our kind wise ancestors, guides and angels regarding what they are most proud of you for right now. Okay. I've already shuffled on each of these decks, but I'm going to continue to do that. And for pile number one, the sodalite and kyanite, what messages? Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, gosh. So funny. Right away, you have the Ten of Pentacles. It says the great work. So right away, your guides and ancestors and angels are saying that you're doing great work. And the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Earth indicates that some of your work may involve the healing of our physical divine parent, planetary parent, sometimes known as Gaia. Um, and that the work that you do here on the Earth um, concerning the care of our planet plants, animals, minerals, your own body, and helping others to learn that is coming to a point of mastery soon, and that it is felt not just here on Earth, but all over the universe. So very beautiful. Okay, congratulations on that. Okay, from the ancient French tarot, what are your kind, wise guides and ancestors? Oh, you've got the Knight of Wands. So they're saying thank you for being ambitious. We're proud of you for being so active in fulfilling your destiny and fulfilling your own heart's desires which are guided by the highest guidance possible of your inner voice and your inner knowing and your highest self but it's saying that your passion you might be a fire sign you could be aries leo or sagittarius or you could have um, mars or a rising an ascendant in those signs um, your passion has really activated your your work recently and they're saying continue to move forward we're really proud of you for being who you are and not being afraid to be passionate to stand up for what you believe in and to move towards it and to take action for those accomplishments relationships and desires that you wish to manifest in your life so the fire is good. Okay, now from the animal tarot, kind wise. Ooh, <laughs> they're really flying today. Wasn't really expecting that. So you've got a few from the animal tarot. So your kind wise guides, ancestors, and angels are saying congratulations on, and we're proud of you for, and you have the five of four legged or the five of pentacles in reverse. So it says examine life's lessons and some of you may know that traditionally in the tarot the five of pentacles means sort of feeling like an outsider or feeling that you are separated or lack things that you need in the material realm um, and those could be opportunities that, that could be financially or involvement in an economic community that could be work that you enjoy and are good at 
Um, but it's in reverse, so this is saying that a period of time where you felt lack or separation is ending, and I believe that is because you are realizing that your abundance lies within, and you can never be separated from the, the divine on earth when you have your, your own consciousness, and when you love yourself, appreciate yourself, and are proud of yourself, you you are not separated from what is most valuable to you so that's really lovely and you have oh the king of four-legged so the king of pentacles lots of pentacles i feel that your kind wise guides ancestors and angels are saying you're really mastering because we have the ten of pentacles to start and now you're at the king of pentacles which is mastery so I feel that they're saying you have gone through this process of healing your um, any patterns or limitations that were once perceived or experienced and you're coming into a place of mastery of the material realm, which means that you understand the material realm not in a negative, limiting or attached way, but that you can be detached from it to perceive the the spiritual gold that is inherent in it and to perceive the gifts the divine gifts that are are all of ours to to receive and enjoy in this lifetime and enjoy the harvest of the prosperity and abundance that you've created for yourself we all know that gorilla is a very powerful being animal on our planet but also very gentle gorillas eat fruit and leaves <laughs> and you know the male gorilla will protect his forest family and he is in many senses the king of the jungle so he is the king or the master of animal nature but uses his intelligence is ever-evolving intelligence to maintain a peaceful and sound way of interacting with the environment which is taking not too much and not too little but nourishing himself and his group um, by being in sync with the ecology of the forest god bless the gorillas and oh now we have the eight of ancients so it says rat snake we are in the year of the rat so that's a nice correspondence and this is the eight of wands so you've got more fire energy you've got a lot of earth and a lot of fire so you could have earth and fire in your chart so you could be a combination of definitely capricorn virgo or taurus with the fire signs so aries leo um, aries leo sagittarius um, and this is rapid acceleration and movement and also communication and opportunities. So I feel like this passion that you have moving forward for some, some goals that you have could be for, um, you know, your own business. It could be for, and your own business is, is complementary, complementary to um, your environment and your community. Um, but it's also communication, passion. It can be communication in like an advertising way or media way, um, which hits its mark. Um, you could receive communication back from a potential partner or a potential user of your, your goods and services, which is very important to you. So this is really positive energy. Um, it's very passionate energy. It can also indicate, because I see all of these pentacles, uh, somebody in a family or romantic partnership, which um, you begin communicating with, or the potential for that. So this is very positive as well. It's, it's an eight. So an eight is a very, um, very feminine energy, a very fertile energy, and excellent for the, the acquiring of material gains, prosperity, and abundance and your ancestors, guides, and angels are congratulating you on combining these two very powerful elements 
of fire and earth, passion and stability to go through your cycle of learning yourself, examine your lessons, and overcome any limitations that you once perceived to step into your full mastery in the material realm and your full success in business, in home, in family, in health. This is big. They're very, very pleased with you. So congratulations, Pile 1, the Sodalite, and Kyanite. Be blessed. Be blessed. Okay, now we're going to quickly move to the next group. And the next group was Lemurian Quartz with Lapis Lazuli Pyramid. I'm already getting a sense of what this is about, <laughs> just from holding these crystals. Very powerful, very powerful. Okay, so we're gonna do a reshuffle so what are pile twos of my beloved subscribers and watchers, the tantric travelers, tantric traveler, what are your ancestors, guides, and angels most proud of you for right now? What are your ancestors, guides, and angels, pile two, Lemurian quartz and lapis lazuli? What are your ancestors, guides, and angels most proud of you for? Here we go. Okay, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So more pentacles coming out. And the Knight of Pentacles is the slow burning fire, the dark horse, the cautious and precautious mover towards the goal. There is a lot of precision, a lot of planning, and a lot of seriousness in the forward movement of the Knight of Pentacles because the Knight of Pentacles values the flower of life and is guided by a higher vision of what he, she is moving towards. So this is your guides and ancestors being proud of you for your patience, your perseverance, your care, which is one of the most important elements in the natural laws of the universe. We can be aware of all of the laws, the energetic laws of the universe, but if we do not care, if we do not take care, then they become meaningless in our lives and they don't assist us. So your kind, wise ancestors, guides, and angels are congratulating you for the care you have been taking with your soul mission. And that is what they want to say to begin. Okay. So, from the spiritual tarot for pile number two, Lapis Lazuli, Lemurian Quartz. What are your kind wise ancestors, guides, and angels most proud of you for right now? What are your kind wise ancestors, guides, and angels most proud of you for right now? Hmm? Marian Quartz and Lapis has a What are your kind wise guides and ancestors? strength. This energy is very much in support of the type of energy seen with the Knight of Pentacles. And you can see that there is a figure who looks sort of angelic, um, entwined with a pillar, which is also entwined with these two serpents. So this is actually illustrating a divine relationship and the progression um, 
of two energies with the divine energy or the higher self as guides. And again, this is talks about perseverance, patience, gentleness with the process of moving together, moving apart, moving together, moving apart, and being guided in the upward spiral of evolution, which does take patience, care, and perseverance, and strength. <laughs> it takes the strength of authenticity, which is a different kind of strength than that of someone who would use weapons from outside of themselves to um, subdue parts of themselves. In a way, spiritual strength is the opposite. It is a releasing of control or and a releasing of those weapons, defenses, layers which do not serve our highest good in order to reveal our true nature which exists within those. And our true nature is our cosmic self, our sovereign divine self. And when we allow the integration of our perceptions of polarity to be transformed into that of union and you could even say multiplicity in a way, because you can see there are three beings in this card and three is the number beyond polarity, the beginning of The word aggre aggregate is coming to my mind. I don't know if that's the correct word, but I guess it's an expression of the flower of life, um, which is ever expanding and where the realizations that occur within ourselves are then sent into, into the macrocosm for us to perceive. So yes, congratulations, your kind, wise ancestors, guides, and angels are saying for your patience, perseverance, and authentic strength and power in following your soul mission as a tantric traveler. Okay, what else do they have to say? What are your kind, wise guides, ancestors, and angels most proud of you for right now. Wow, okay, so this lovely little card has come up again, and this is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. We saw this in the first reading, in case you did not see that. So this is Mouse, and it says, examine life's lessons, and often the Five of Four-Leggeds or Pentacles shows people who are sort of looking like outsiders or um, people who are sick or poverty stricken outside a church in the snow. And it, it talks about this card and this energy talks about the human experience of feeling like we are separated from our abundance, our comfort, our stability, our shelter. And when this card is in reverse, it means that you have examined that lesson, you've examined that template within yourself and healed it. So not it's not the, the storing up of grains in a stash for the winter that keeps us in a state of abundance and liberty, but in fact, it's realizing that the temple of plenty lies within and that our abundance will always our, our natural um, our natural being will always attract this universal abundance into our lives for us and any sort of ancestral programs um, societal programs uh, feelings of unworth unworthiness that we may have been harboring 
which have kept us from feeling safe, secure, and wealthy, that has been overturned for a more authentic and a truer experience of what's possible. What's possible in the feeling, the energy, the vibration of abundance, which pulls into us when we emit it and transmit it. It pulls into us not just material abundance, but um, the abundance, emotional abundance of love and um, satisfying and fulfilling relationships with others and also the spiritual abundance of always feeling connected to the divine through ourselves, through our own bodies, through our own experience here on earth and elsewhere. So congratulations on doing that healing. And that is what your kind, wise guides and ancestors are most proud of you for right now. So continue in this patient perseverance on your journey and recognize that your authentic self is emerging and ascending and that if you are in a spiritual partnership that progress is is definitely um, occurring and that as you shed all of any of these programs of unworthiness doubt fear you are continuing to ascend and evolve towards your true divine nature which you can never be separated from that's really really beautiful congratulations pile number two okay mm. that was really really lovely so now we will go to the third pile which is the snowy owl eye that I painted for my daddy -o with this black Tibetan quartz. I don't know why they call it black. It's got like a little bit of darkness in the core. It's such a beautiful, gentle and powerful crystal. And I really, really love my crystalline companions. Okay. So for Snowy Owl, Tibetan Quartz, Pile, Tantric Travelers, what are your kind, wise guides and ancestors most proud of you for right now? Ah, are your kind, wise? Whoa, almost came out and then didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna take this one. Oh my gosh, I'm glad I did. You've got the sun. You are really being so victorious in conquering any sense of depression or being, being a victim of your own moods or the moods of others or feeling like you don't deserve to feel joyful because you have the sun and the sun is an effortless vibration of joy, unity, good spirits, good mood. Um, and no matter what occurs in your life, you are meeting it with equanimity. And because you are receiving, transmitting and emitting this vibration, all good things are coming to you. There are great leaps forward for you now in your consciousness. You're understanding things that you didn't before. Um, things are becoming clear to you and you are receiving the highest guidance from your highest self in every step that you take. And you know this and you feel this and other people are drawn to you. Your vibration is very healing and you can even lift those who are depressed or ill out of out of that sensation so your healing power is coming to you but it took a lot of discipline on your part it took a lot of mental discipline and it took a lot of listening closely to the guidance of your ancestors your highest guides and your angelic alliance so they're thanking you for taking their advice and using their guidance because you're hitting this beautiful pinnacle of energy 
right now and you've become a gentle forbearing and wise leader and parent to yourself and even if you're in living in a a dim northern climate or you're living in an environment or circumstance which might not be optimum to your physical self right now your your sunshine is shining from within and it's just it's really lovely you can see there's two lovers in the center surrounded by a wreath of flowers so it can also mean um, success and victory in attaining a certain high vibration of love unconditional love and acceptance within relationships including a romantic relationship lots of joy lots of love you deserve to feel joyful and you have accepted that within yourself and you do feel joyful sometimes living in the world that we do that is no small accomplishment so your guides ancestors and angels are very proud of you for this